We are talking about providing children with artistic outlets. That's the mission for the community and artists alike at the Michigan Glass Project. And that's why we're bringing in Megan here with us this morning to tell us more about that. Uh, tell us a little bit about this art festival that's going on tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, the Michigan Glass Project is a, a nonprofit art and music fundraising festival that we hold once a year at the Russell Industrial Center at Detroit. So we have about 100 glass artists, 50 live painters, and they spend the entire three-day weekend, so June 9th, 10th, and 11th, making art. And on Sunday, the 11th, we auction off their work, and uh, the proceeds benefit Art Road Nonprofit. And there's actually a documentary, right, that's kicking yeah. things off today. Yeah. What's that all Our about? Our documentary is called uh, Art That Gives Back. It opens tonight at the Detroit Film Theater, which is located, in, located inside of the DIA. Uh, doors open at 6 p.m., there will be drinks, and at 7 o'clock, um, the film begins. Um, and it's a really great way to learn more about what the Glass Project does. Um, and it's roughly 10 years in the making, too. So. Um, this yeah. the, the documentary is 10 years in the making. Yep. Well, the video is beautiful. We're taking a look at some of it right now. And all the proceeds actually go to the Art Road Nonprofit. Yep. What's that all about? Yeah, Art Road Nonprofit's mission is to put art class curriculum and materials back in Detroit, Metro Detroit Public Schools. And how does that work? Yeah, so that works with, um, we have this large event. Mm -hmm. We uh, have a bunch of art that's made throughout the event. Um, we auction off all of the artwork, and that um, money we turn into a check, and we hand over to Art Road, and then Art Road puts that art, materials, curriculum, right back into schools. So all the proceeds, yeah. that's fantastic. And I know that you work for the Michigan Glass Project. Exactly what does that entail? How do you describe that to people? Yeah, so I am actually the fine art curator for the Glass Project. Um, so my role is I find artists from around the country, around Detroit, um, we bring them into the Russell Industrial Center. Um, they either paint with acrylic, watercolor, spray paint, um, and then uh, their, all of their artwork goes into the auction along with the glass art that's made there as well. Yeah, that's a perfect segue to actually the next portion of our, of our segment here because Megan brought a special guest with her mm -hmm. and they are actually outside of the studio with Chris and uh, apparently you guys have a torch with you out there too. Yeah, apparently we do have a torch here and Kimberly is using it because only qualified people are allowed to. Kimberly, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here with this uh, blowtorch? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's not a blowtorch, it's a lamp working torch. And um, I'm a glass blower, this is called flame working, and I'm just doing some prep for a project that I'll be working on later on. Well, you have to forgive me, my torch knowledge is not where it should be, but now I'm learning a lot about it. So it's easily, how hot is this? Because it's easily melting this rod of glass you have. Mm, it's probably around 2,500 degrees, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Hot enough not to touch or not to play with. Yeah, and I'm not even supposed to look at it directly, right? No, you're not. <laughs> that's hard to do because once you see a flame like that, that's all you're attracted to. Now tell us about some of the things you actually make because it's hard for us to envision when we just see this rod of glass. Okay, well, um, with flame working, you can make a lot of different things and that includes functional work, uh, sculptural and wearable. And um, at the Michigan Glass Project, you'll be able to see all of these things and purchase or donate to the organization. Yeah, some amazing work down here. Now, is that a skateboard I'm looking at over there? Yeah, so there's going, this is a skateboard, and this was painted by a couple of the artists or a collaboration with a few of the artists there. And um, Vincent Gordon is a 2D artist that is usually at the project. I'm not sure if he'll be there this time, but I hope he is. Uh -huh. So this festival, you've been to it a number of times. Tell us how it's kind of evolved uh, since mm -hmm. it started out. Um, I guess it was a lot smaller, and um, it's become a really big popular uh, um, event within um, the functional glass community, and a lot of uh, artists show up to donate their time to get money for the children for art classes. That's so mm -hmm. awesome. Now tell us, if people want to get a little more involved in glass work, where would they go? What kind of resources are out there for them to mm -hmm. you know, get involved in something like this? Well, you can contact Michigan Glass Project. Um, you can take classes at art schools and craft schools around the world and um, go visit galleries like Habitat Gallery in Royal Oak. All right, I just want to ask you a little bit more about this piece. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to test our uh, cameraman's ability out. Mm -hmm. What exactly is this? Are these teeth on here? Those are teeth. This is by an artist named Salt, and he is, a, I would say, a pretty prolific uh, functional glass maker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd agree. Now, this is kind of st stuff you specialize in or you mm -hmm. like to make. Um, are these? How much would something like this intricate piece, how long does it take you to make? 
It takes many, many hours and years of concentrating and working very hard. So um, it takes a lot of time to get <laughs> to the point that we're at at this point in our careers. Yeah, once you said years, I, I knew it. I also knew I got my hand a little close to the flame because I think I really singed warm. all the arm yeah. hair on uh, my <laughs> wrist there because yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's a little yeah. hot. So. I got to stay away from those warm flames. Well, Kimberly, this is awesome work that you're doing, and thanks uh, for telling us all about the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a good time, and uh, thanks a lot for uh, sh teaching me all about the uh, torch. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> all right, we'll get it back to you there in the studio, Sandra. I don't want to uh, burn my wrist hair anymore. I learned my lesson. Don't burn anything else. All right, Chris and Kimberly, we appreciate it. Good stuff.